Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the Swinnertown Swoodoo Poopers. We've got both John Greens back in the lineup today. John Green, Nay Bennett, and his husband, the mustachioed bald John Green. Uh, we've also got uh, Ramsden back at uh, left back today. Um, S car goes a little bit tired. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're we're in the Euro League today. We've we've brought Europe to Swindon. And I, I've got good news, which is that we are second in our group in the Euro, Euro League right now, uh, and the top two in the group get to move forward um, to the knockout uh, rounds, which is when you make a lot of money. So that would be good for us. But we're already making like seventy five hundred bucks a week just by playing these games. So that's encouraging. Um, this is a this is a big part of the long term financial plan uh, for the Swoodley Poopers. What? You're going to call a, goal, a, a foul on me in the first minute just because I tried to hug someone with the, uh, by the knees? What? Explain to me what, what soccer is supposed to be if not a game of knee hugging. Because that was always my understanding. When I started playing FIFA 11, it was because I thought that I would get some knee hugs. Come on. Oh, wow, he just got smacked. There we go. Get it out wide. Yes. So um, today I'm going to talk to you. Hold on a second. I got to try to get this cross in. To ball, John Green. No. Uh, right. Today I'm going to tell you about uh, pretty much every breakup I've ever had without using names. Um, so that uh, there were many, there were many, many moving comments in the video <laughs> yesterday. Uh, Many people who are like, your advice sucks because I'm still so miserable. I'm sorry. I mean, it does, it does, it, you know. It's funny how big a role we let romance, oh, how do you miss the goal? We play, we let romance play in our lives. Um, because, you know, it's important. And like, now that I'm, now that I'm married and like my romantic life is ostensibly over because every romantic comedy ever made ends with ma ends with the wedding and then that's the uh, that's the end of the narrative as if the next 50 years don't make a difference um but now that i'm now that i'm uh married and my romantic life is over i can tell you that like while while that relationship is obviously hugely important to me and it, you know it's the most important relationship in my life um i yeah it just it just seems like everything that came before it was a little bit, a little bit overwrought. To be perfectly honest with you, um, so uh, third grade, I won't tell you her name, uh, dumped me for a different boy. Uh, I didn't mind. Um, didn't hurt me as much as some of the later ones, that's for sure. Fourth grade, uh, nice, really nice girl, um, dumped me because I was a pathological liar totally legitimate reason for dumping score yes that's what i like to see ball john green to other john green john greens john greens ball another john greens they love each other and they love our team great goal great goal and an, you know it's nice to see some goals that are coming together from passing not just from corner kicks and uh and long uh, crosses into the box really nice to see the passing being rewarded a little bit. Uh, so I, I appreciate that, FIFA 11. Thank you. Um, get get it to your... Oh, I just needed another half a second for a great give-and-go goal. Anyway, uh, fifth grade. Um, her name was Maggie. I'm still, I, still, I still follow her on Twitter, actually. Really nice girl. Um, I can't remember why she broke up with me. Oh, she moved away. Yeah, and so she was like, we got to break up because I'm moving away. And I was like, I'll do it long distance. And she was like, that's unreasonable. We're 11. Uh, did not have a girlfriend in 6th grade, 7th grade, or 8th grade. Ninth grade had a girlfriend for a while, but we never actually kissed, which is particularly weird because, like, with her next boyfriend, she went, she went much further. Um, much further. Like, to bases I didn't even know existed at the time. And, um, but again, nice girl. Facebook friend. Um, she broke up with me because she started dating the guy who she had the like heavily sexualized romantic relationship with. And I was like, why don't you just go back to me, the guy who never even tries to French kiss you? Uh, yeah. So that didn't work out. Uh, tenth grade, I had two major relationships, both with women um, who later uh, 
came out as being gay. Um, one of whom uh, has appeared in a uh, Vlogbrothers video, actually. Oh, off the post! And is a nerd fighter, um, and a really awesome nerd fighter, Fran. Um, she's the best. Uh, and Fran, Fran, um, Fran, Fran was. I mean, I know that she. I know that she doesn't like like guys, but in some ways that made her a great girlfriend because she was really like understanding and sweet and generous and like just really great. Um, and but the other girl I dated that year um, also. Uh, was also is also a lesbian, um, although I don't and and they I, they were the only openly by our senior year they were I think they were the only two like out girls at at my school, um, but uh, never involved never involved with each other or anything. Then eleventh grade eleventh grade I had, um, I guess I had three no that was in eleventh grade yeah eleventh grade I had three relatively important relationships, um, all of which I got dumped in. Get it in the net. Um, the first was, uh, a nice, uh, I, I have nothing but nice ex-girlfriends. I have, I really, they're, well, that's not true. I'll get to college in a second and then, then they'll get less nice. Um, so yeah, I dated a girl and actually she, I kind of like, I think she technically broke up with me, but I sort of like guilted her into it. That kind of thing, you know, that people sometimes do, um, where you almost like force them to dump you just by being such an asshat. I was a real asshat with her, unfortunately. Um, and that, of, of all the romantic relationships I've had, that's probably the one that I regret the most, that I regret my behavior the most, because I just wasn't, I just wasn't a particularly attentive. And that was a really difficult year in our, in our lives. Um, a friend of ours died, and it's just a really, really sad time, and I was really not a good boyfriend. She was also super cute. Um, so there's that, uh, but yeah, she was great. Really. That was, that was, that was the worst. That was the stupidest thing I ever did. Um, again, worked out like now she has like seven kids and she's married to a doctor. You can't do any better than that. Um, I mean, I wish I was married to a doctor, but, uh, and then, uh, then two other girlfriends in 11th grade, one of whom broke up with me because, uh, she wanted to date one of my best friends. Um, and the other of whom, uh, broke up with me because she wanted to date the same guy, um, the same one of my best friends, who was in, in, in their defense extremely good looking, but I did get tired of getting dumped by, for this guy repeatedly over and over and over again. Um, and then eventually he hooked up with one of my girlfriends. He, he hooked up with the girl I was dating like at the equivalent of our senior prom, and I was like, that's it. Our friendship is over. And he was like, I can't help myself, man. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, 12th grade, I really only had one... A uh, longish term relationship in twelfth grade, um, and uh, you guys. And it, uh, one time, she appeared on a blog TV show, and she was fantastic. Her name is Jen, and she was really great on blog TV. She was hilarious. She read a love letter that I'd written her in high school that was just unfathomably awkward. Uh, it was so bad. My uh, Ning Master Tom made a T-shirt out of the thing that I said. I was talking about the E. Cummings novel, The, en- the Enormous Room. Um, and I was saying that all of our lives are enormous rooms, and you must choose what you fill your enormous room with. <laughs> Context is everything. And, uh, and, I said, and I said to Jen in this, in this um, ah, thank goodness. I said to Jen in this, uh, in this, this letter, um, fill your room with Mount Everest. Um, and I, <laughs> I, I hate, I hate my, myself from the past so much. So anyway, uh, yeah, um, my friend, my friend Tom, every time I see him, wears his homemade fill your room with Mount Everest shirt. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the, that's that. Fill your room with Mount Everest. Um, and, uh, but, but. She, she and I, she and I broke up really, really because I went to college, and I, I, and we sort of tried to make it work long distance, but then eventually she went to college and she got a boyfriend, and, and it definitely wasn't going to work. Um, then my major girlfriend in college was uh, this amazing, really wonderful woman named Marie, um, who again, like I kind of regret the way that it went down. 
I mean, she broke up with me, so it's her fault, I guess. But I regret it just because, like, I would love to still be friends with her because she's so, uh, she's such a cool person. So, uh, like, uh, smart and really, she had, she had really interesting values and also, unlike almost everyone I know, worked extremely hard to try to live up to her values, which I just, that's something I really admire about people. Um, then, uh, then after, she and, I, she and I dated for almost three years, and then after we broke up, um... I was pretty devastated, to be honest with you. I kind of thought that I was going to marry... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, everything worked out better than expected. Go ahead and clear it. Thank you. Um, so I kind of I kind of thought that we were going to get married. Um, I, 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 you know, obviously, it's best for, for, for all involved that we didn't. But, um, but I was really, like... I was devastated for, like, a year or two after that. And um, along the way, I dated... I, I dated some some less successful. I had some less successful relationships. Then, long story short, Sarah, happy ending. We won. They smell their pits in shame. Best wishes.